we're gonna start with the hook guard and our opponent is gonna underhook our arm. And um, a lot of times you don't find the space here to get the underhooks on him. So he's gonna be on this position. I call this position the short step, okay? It's a short step. It's gonna be like a long step, it's gonna be really short. And the way you do it is very simple, super effective. So what I do here, I grab, I can grab his belt if I want, but I like to grab the gi here, okay? I like to use my shoulder against his head, okay? So my shoulder will touch his head, okay? I cannot grab here, okay? So I gotta touch his head here. And at the same time, I'll control the bottom pants here. I could control like this or like that. I can hold like a spider grip. And of course, like this grip here will be stronger. All right, so you can stand up this leg here, okay, uh, at first, but you gotta make sure that when you step this leg, you don't step right here so you underhook your, your leg, okay? So make sure you're here. So now I'm gonna pass to the side that I'm holding his back, okay, right here. I'm controlling his back. So, um, I'm sure. so what I do now, instead of doing a long step, I'm gonna put my butt on the floor, like this, okay? I put my butt cheek on the floor, on the right side. So if his hook is on this side, right, I'm gonna do this. So as I touch my butt on the floor, I'm pulling my opponent towards me. So I'm here, Jonathan's gonna try to sweep me, so I, I put my shoulder on him, put my butt on the floor, okay, and now I'll pull him towards me and push his leg away from me. I'm pulling my elbow towards the man and towards me and then put, my, uh, put him like this on the floor. Okay, having my hips on the floor right now. All right, that's why I call short step. I know even like long step, I just do this. I'm showing you really slow. Uh, this is a very simple way to pass the guard. I use a lot, okay? And definitely it's, it's super strong, okay? One more time. So I'll be here, I'll do step one, step two. Look, I go away from him. As I touch my butt on the floor, I'm putting my head inside. So his head is like really close to me here. So I, I stretch my arm a little bit to touch my shoulder on him. Moving out, putting my butt on the floor. So now I bring my elbow to the floor and push the leg away from me. So I'm making spin like this, okay? Once I get here, I'm on the, on the long step position. Okay, Jonathan's gonna try to face to me. I keep pushing the leg away from me, right? And now with my right, right leg, I'll pass under his arm. I put my weight on his shoulder and I'll pass my leg, my right leg under his arm here, having my shoulder really heavy on his, on his face. Now I gotta underhook this arm, letting go of his leg, control the arm and I'm here. So if you try to turn that way, I'm holding. If you try to turn towards me, my leg that's under his arm is controlling and also the shoulder pressure on his face, okay? Now when I get here, if I like, I can let go of the, the head and pass my arms on this side. I like to keep my head, uh, hip flexor against his uh, armpit, so that way it's super hard for him to build frames, okay? So I don't wanna let my opponent be with this arm here, okay? Always opening as much as I can, and I got on this position. He's gonna get the hook start, so he's only here. So I'm, I can flat my feet on the floor in this position right now, okay? Because I wanna be really heavy. In this case, if my opponent try to elevate me, try to elevate me, I start leaning back. Okay, uh, I gotta I gotta be quick here, okay? Turn around. Because uh, if I stay like with my weight back and I don't control this leg, he can grab my knee and then he can come up like this, okay? And then he starts sweeping here, All right? So I don't wanna let him coming up. So that's why I control this leg here. Try to do that, John. Try to grab my knee. I start putting my butt on the floor. Now, by the time he's trying to come up, try to come up, John, I start bringing. Uh, his, uh, my elbow to the floor, and I start pu pushing his leg up, like spinning my opponent. Okay, once I get here, I find uh, the space between his leg and my leg. So if his knee's on my belly, put your knee on my belly, just right here, I need to pass my leg under his leg, and then I start opening the other leg, my right leg, under his arm, and now I control it. Okay, I let go of the pants and control the underhook, so now I have a really strong position here, and then I'm ready to go to his arms and go to mount and making transitions. I'm showing you really slow so you can see how the technique works.
step one. Okay, you see how I spent my leg here? Now look my butt. Butt on the floor, spin. Look, bring him to you. Okay, I bring my elbow to me, putting the elbow on the floor and pushing the leg away. By the, the way you push the leg away, you'll find his face to put your knee under, his hips, and then the other knee under his arm. Shoulder pressure on his face, passing the guard, okay? So the details of the technique is like this. He's gonna underhook your arm, so you're gonna grab and use your shoulder against him. Control the bottom leg and step your leg far. So now you put your hip on the floor here. Once your hip touch the floor, at the same time, you're gonna pull the elbow. You're gonna turn your elbow and pull the elbow towards the floor while you're pushing the leg away. You make your opponent to spin. Okay, he's gonna spin and then you're gonna bring him. So easily you're gonna be out of his hips. So I love to do this long step. It's definitely a really, really great way to pass the guard. Okay, so I'm sure you're really slow, but on the fly it's gonna be one, two, and then you go. Super simple, okay? So I'm here with the Jonathan's. He grabs, I go. Like this. Okay? And then I control. Again, other side goes. The other side. So I'm here, I go like this. So I know he's gonna try to come up or he's gonna try to sweep me that way, sweep me that way, John. So just putting the hip here and now I avoid him to put this hook, okay? So try to turn to me, John. By the time he turns to me, it's too late. I put my elbow on the floor and spin my opponent. Now, I get the side control, okay? And what I like from this position uh, is because uh, it's one thing. I like to put my shoulder on his face, and also because he's under hooking my arm, I will be, I'll end up in a perfect spot past his guard without having his frames. So I grab here, I go one, two, and then I get here. So now I already pass his frame. Okay, right here. So there's a way he can make frame. Maybe he's gonna make frame with this hand right here. Okay, I'm gonna push away, and then I get right here. I like to keep controlling like this, and I bring my elbow towards him, and my knees towards him. So my elbow against my knees, and I keep him super tight, super strong here. Okay, I keep myself super tight, super strong. And it's really hard for him to move right now. He's gonna try to bridge, try to escape. I just establish the position, I pass, and then after that I can make transition. So as you put the leg, I go one, two. You see how I, how I, how I put my, my hip on the floor here? I just chew with my hip on the floor. That's why I call a short step. My long step will be before uh, anything. And he's not even notice the long step. He's not gonna notice the long step. I'm gonna be here. This is my long step. Now I just need to do this. It's so easy, right? It's so simple, and I like simple. Here I go, one, two, pull. So pull and push. Just like you, you're driving a bus, right? There's like a bus wheel. So you're gonna turn like this. Okay, so you pull the elbow down and you push uh, the leg away, okay? So we cover all the details. The most important thing is to step the leg out, not step the leg close to his arm, okay? And then the second thing is putting your butt on the floor. You just like move your butt to the floor. At the same time, move the butt to the floor. You bring the elbow to the floor and push his leg away. And then you're gonna be out of his hooks and you're gonna pass his guard really, really easy, all right? Let's work on that. One, two, three.